So the Windows 11 Insider Preview is finally available for official download. AJ here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to download and install the Windows 11 Insider Preview on your PC. The computer we're using today is a Surface Pro 7 with an i5 8 gigs of RAM inside of it. So this is gonna meet all the criteria for the Windows 11 preview. A lot of computers right now are either having issues with their older CPU or not having a TPM chip installed. This computer here has a 10th gen processor and a TPM 2.0 chip. So this meets all the requirements for Windows 11 to be installed. Do keep in mind that this is the first official release of the Insider Preview, so it can be extremely buggy, we'll find out in a minute. And I would recommend only installing on a device that is not your main PC. The Developer Preview is the most buggy of all the Insider Previews, and this is not any official build of Windows 11. Of course, if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and if you really wanna supercharge how you use your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. With that being said, let's jump into this. So to install the Insider Preview onto your Windows 10 computer, the first thing you wanna do is jump over to your settings and go down here where it says Update and Security. I'd recommend making sure that your computer has all the latest updates installed. You can see here that I have one more update to install on my computer and then I can push through an optional update. If you've already completely updated your computer, on the left-hand side, you wanna scroll down to where it says Windows Insider Program, which is the second option from the bottom. You're gonna simply open up this option here. And then here you can choose to join a Windows Insider Program. So once you select on the Get Started option, if you haven't already, it's gonna ask you to link an account. And this is just basically a Microsoft account. After you've linked your account, it's gonna ask you which channel you would like to install. And then you have three options here. You have the Developer Channel, the Beta Channel, and the Release Preview Channel. The developer channel is the only channel the Windows 11 release preview is available on. It is, as it says here, for highly technical users because it is the first release of Windows 11 or it is the first release of uh, Windows build, which means it has the most amount of bugs and it's the earliest stable build in the development cycle. As the weeks and months move on, you will be able to access the Windows 11 preview in the beta and the release preview channel. Those, of course, will give you more stable versions of Windows 11 in the release preview. But right now, as this has just come to market, we have to choose the dev channel. So we're gonna select dev and hit confirm. Now here you can read through the Microsoft Insider Privacy Statement as well as the Insider Program Agreement. If you're happy with what's in these agreements, you're gonna hit continue, confirm, and then it's gonna ask you to restart your PC. So you can either restart it now if you're ready to install or you can go restart later. After hitting the restart button, simply go back into your computer, go into your settings and check your updates. And what you'll see is that under Windows Update, your computer might be pushing through a few more updates like mine currently is. But at the top here, you can also see it's downloading the Windows 11 Insider Preview Build 10.0.22000.51. Cool, so now we just gotta let that finish downloading. Now you can see Windows 11 has downloaded, installed, and all we have to do is hit that restart button to install the Windows 11 inside a preview. Let's hit restart and see what happens. While it does its restart, I'll let you know that it took about an hour for it to download and fully install. Um, of course, if you have faster or slower internet, it will increase or decrease the download and installation time. I think an hour though is pretty reasonable. You can basically leave this running, do what I did, go watch some TV because I'm not sure if you guys are, but we are in lockdown here in Sydney. So I've got not much else to do besides play on my computers. And you can see here, it says the updates are underway. It has 0% complete. It says, please keep your computer on. I'd recommend during this, ensure that it is plugged into charge just because you don't want your computer turning off or failing the update just because it ran out of battery. All right, that was very quick. It went from zero to 100% complete in a couple of minutes, not even. So let's actually see what happens if it is fully installed, I doubt it, but let's have a, let's wait and see what happens. That seems way too quick for me to go from Windows 10 to a brand new operating system within two or three minutes. Look, it says Windows is working on updates. You can see here already, there is a different font to the standard Windows 10 font where it says it's installing an update might be very subtle for you guys, but I can actually tell that that is a different font. And that is powering through the update. That just went from zero to 30, it's doing a restart now. 
extremely quick from what I can see, extremely, extremely quick, which hopefully this is an indication that Windows 11 will be an extremely snappy operating system. From some of the leaks already, we can see that it is improving performance on systems when they've upgraded from Windows 10 to the dev build of Windows 11. Hopefully these improvements continue so that when we get the general availability of Windows 11, we see much better performance, battery life, and of course security on existing hardware. I am actually so impressed with that. From the moment I hit restart, once it said it finished downloading and installing to Windows finalizing that update, took less than five minutes for Windows 11 to install on this computer. You can see that we're logging in for the first time. I'm still using the iPhone to record the screen because obviously I can't be using OBS screen recorder while it installed that update. But I am actually so excited about how quickly it installed that update onto this PC. When I was installing the Windows 10 Insider Preview on my Surface Pro X to test out the 64-bit capabilities, that took me an entire day. This took me an evening, you know, an hour, if that, to download, install, and now log in for the first time. To me, this is a really good sign already of what Windows 11 is gonna be capable of. So you can see we have logged into Windows 11 for the first time. I'm just gonna press the Start menu to show you that it is here. You can see that we have the new updated Start menu, the new search icon. And there you have it. It is that easy to install the Windows 11 Insider Preview on your PC. Of course, I would caution against loading this onto your main device because it is insider software, so it does have bugs and issues and it's not a final release by Microsoft. But of course, if you've got a spare device, I'd recommend loading it onto that to have a play around with it. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, let me know. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more of my content and more of me testing out Windows 11, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.